Runners at the corners for Nick Castellanos. Here's the 0-1. Sends it to right. Altair lines it up. Here comes Goodrum. The throw will be not in time, and the Tigers have the early lead again. We start with Wilson Ramos, right hand batter. Ramos cracks one to deep left field. Forget that. Ramos who homered last night. Homer's his first time up today. Fourth of the year for Wilson Ramos, and the Mets get even at one. Well, we mentioned a few weeks ago that Ramos had not been turning on balls. Over the last couple of weeks, he has begun to, and the numbers have perked up as a result. He's now homered in each of his last two at bats. I'm wondering if Chili Davis has anything to any input on this. I mean, Ramos, who has just been just looking to go the opposite field pretty much all year now, has started to pull. The one two. Swinging a little jam job pop up into left, right to Kristen Stewart. A few steps toward left center. He makes the catch. Good job by Carpenter. He's inducing some soft contact so yeah, far. He really is. The one two. Half cut on a slider that bounced, and Vargas strikes out. Two up, two down. Carpenter behind two and oh. And Rosario taps one right in front of the plate. Griner is right on it. And that retires the side. Six in a row retired by Ryan Carpenter. We're through three at City Field, tied at one. J.D. Davis leads off the home fourth for New York. And hit hard down to third, and it goes right through Lugo. And Davis is safe at first. So Dalwell Lugo unable to handle that hot shot. It'll be scored an error. The Mets have a leadoff base run. There's Pete Alonzo flied out his first time up. And a balk is called. A balk called against Carpenter, and that'll move Davis down to second base. You can see he stops and then he stops again. Why did they call a balk? Did the exact same thing and they called a balk again. There you go. How about that? That's going to get Ron Gardner. And Carpenter's saying, hey, that's my move. That's what I do. And now Ron Gardner is going to come out and argue. So they called it once on that double stop. Well, it's clear what he does. The question is, what do the umpires allow? Now he stops and then he moves his hands again. And now Gardner out to plead his case. So one out. Davis still at third. The infield will stay just about halfway at second and short against Ramos, who homered on the first pitch he saw. And he grounds one through the whole base head, and the Mets have the lead. Davis comes in to score. Ramos produces again. He's driven in both runs today for the Mets, who now lead it two to one. And they've got the tying run aboard with their best hitters coming up. Nicholas Castellanos drove in the Detroit run with a sacrifice fly. Then. Vargo's deal, swinging a hard hit grounder, diving stop by Frazier behind third, fires to second for a force play. A Todd Frazier just saved an extra base hit, maybe even a run with a great diving stop along the line behind the bag against Castellanos for the second out. Well, that was just a beautiful play by Todd Frazier, an all-out diving effort on a ball that was smoked by Castellanos. Then he got up and made one of the best throws I've ever seen Frazier make. Brandon Dixon has grabbed a bat, and he will pinch it for the pitcher here in the sixth inning. And it's the one one swinging a fly ball left field. Way back in left and gone a home run. Brandon Dixon with a pinch hit two run home run. He put it into the upper deck in left field. And the Tigers take the lead on a two out two run home run. 3-2 here in the sixth. So two out. Wilson Ramos, who's been the sum total of the Mets offense today, comes to bat. First pitch to him. Swing and a drive in the air to right. That's well hit. Castellanos back. And there she goes. Home run for the red hot Wilson Ramos. The second home run of the game for Ramos. He's got five on the year now. And the Mets have come right back and taken a 4-3 to three lead. Huge moment here in the eighth for Jacoby Jones. Tigers trying to come back. Now a four-out save ask of Edwin Diaz. A 2-2. Two -two. Get down. Up to right, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. The Tigers have tied it up. Well, what you want more than anything else if you're Wilmer Fon is a ground ball double play. Nicholas Castellanos has not grounded into a double play this year. But he hits a ground ball right back to Fon. How about that? And Chavaria on the first double play. Side retired. And he does square, lays off, throw to first by Ramos, and he picked him off. Wilson Ramos having himself a day. Three hits, a couple of home runs, and now he picks Beckham off first base. So now it's left to Adani Echeverria with the bases loaded and two out. Here's the 3 2. Ground ball up the middle. Stumps got him. Sit him down. Let's play into the 12th. 
Hicks. 4-4, 12th inning, bases loaded, two outs. Runners will go on the 3-2 to John Hicks. Swing and a high fly, right center, playable for Lagaris. Angling to his left, Lagaris is there, he's got it, and the inning is over. Tomas Nito up for the second time will lead off. Nito flies one out to right center field. Back goes Jones onto the warning track at the wall. It's out of here! Tomas Nito wins it! Tomas Nito ends it with an opposite field home run. His third career home run. This one ends the game in the bottom of the 13th, and the Mets win it 5-4.